Right, what's up everyone? So we're back again. Um, I'm going to try and do a quick video today of a few more uh, modifications. But to start off, so you've got the wheels on, um, but I didn't do a very good job of filming it because we were in a bit of a rush. So anyway, today's job, we're going to try and swap these. I'm going to try and paint the new ones. And then once it's dry, chuck them on. So basically with that, we'll, uh, we'll jump straight into it. But as usual, Obviously, if you can like and subscribe and all that rubbish, it'd be much appreciated. And then, as I always say, we've got the uh, buy me a coffee link in the uh, in the description. If you don't mind uh, buying a coffee or basically donating to the channel, that'll be fantastic. So I can quit my job and start buying Lamborghinis like everyone else. But failing that, um, yeah, a little thumbs up on the video will do for now. Thanks a lot. I'll see you in a minute. So for anyone wondering uh, whatever happened to the KA, it's still here. I've just uh, basically not done anything with it since I crashed it. So, yeah, it's still here. We've still got all the stuff in the back even. I haven't even emptied it out. I literally crashed it, what was that now, two years ago. And, uh, and I've done nothing with it ever since. So we'll eventually get it back up and running. Um, it really just needs this bumper um, and then it was leaking something out of this side um, I'm not sure if it was just AC um, what do you call it refrigerant essentially um, fingers crossed it is and then we'll just rip all the AC stuff out and then in theory makes it slightly more faster or responsive you can see some cunting cats what's all over my bonnet and everything but that's the least of my worries at this point um he does actually still fire up i start it every so often and uh, and there's no real issues there so it's just a case of getting the new bumper on and really getting back out with it and then these are my many other projects this is a zzr 250 uh, that basically uh, we can't get running um, this was actually at a garage uh, for over a year and they've struggled so um i've really just got to get on to that um pretty much the problem with this if anybody knows how we might tackle this the air box was missing and it had some k&n type cone filters on it and it wouldn't run so we ripped them filters off and if you basically cover it with your hand the throttles it'll run so i bought the air box a standard air box uh, which was really difficult to find but then getting it to actually fit is a nightmare it won't go on um, so if anyone's got any tips as to how the garage might be able to do that I'm going to just tackle it myself I think but um, essentially that should be the only thing stopping it from running and then I can get this 250 up and running now it was painted with emulsion and it's dog shit so this is actually the bike, the not this bike, but the same bike that they used in uh, Kill Bill. So I'm going to paint it yellow, I think, and make a Kill Bill replica. So that's my Bandit, and that works fine. That's my TL. Um, I've repaired the tank on this, so that should be fine once it's... Uh, basically, once I put some petrol in it, charge the battery up and fire it up. Um, and then this is an ongoing ZX, uh, ZX7R project that I've had for a while and not touched for ages. And really this needs a, an exhaust. It's blowing from the manifold or headers as they call them in the bike world. Um, and then once all that's sorted, that really is ready to go. That's had a full engine rebuild and everything. Uh, suspension, brand new tyres. Uh, basically a full overall of everything it's still got the standard six pot brakes on might upgrade them eventually but essentially that's ready to go once I get around to sorting the exhaust and then I've got this little yellow thing here that I pulled out of a skip but this is actually battery powered this so um, I've not got a key for it so I'm going to bypass that and just put a little switch on uh, put some batteries down here in the uh, under this thing and then it actually goes it works so that's that project and then obviously or not obviously because i never shown my bikes on this channel but i've got some other projects i've got a cbr 400 double r which needs recommissioning we think that might be a fuel pump and what else have we got oh me and neil's got a zx uh, no it's not a gsxr 600 
uh, track bike that we need to uh, basically recommission and get out on the track as well. So I have many, many more projects than just the uh, the Cayman, which is why it's slow progress everywhere. If I just focus on one thing, then uh, you know we might get somewhere, but I don't, and so nothing ever really progresses. So yeah, that's a little update on pretty much everything we've got going. Um, yeah, I'll bring you back. So anyway, distractions aside now, no more motorbikes. Um, this is what we're dealing with. We've got the scoops for the side, which are obviously more open and not got them slatty things on. They just look a bit more like a <clears throat> 911 Turbo or something like that. Um, and I'm going to paint some with this, which is not paint or peelable paint or whatever you want to call it, plasti dip, that sort of stuff. So never used this before so i'm going to give it a whirl um the main reason i got this is i wanted it matte black which is apparently what this is going to end up and i just thought if it's shit i can just peel it off can't i so that's the idea um we'll see how we get on really um like i say never used it before no idea how many layers or anything like that we're going to need um all we can do is try and learn on the job and it? so that's what we're here to do um, I believe what we need to do is basically undo the, those two screws there at the top, or nuts or bolts, or whatever you want to call them. Um, this will come apart then, it unhooks there, and then uh, basically just paint the inner and the outer, put them back together, chuck them on the car. That's pretty much it really, I mean it's not all that complicated is it? I don't think the inner is going to take an whole lot of... Uh, care to really get it right no one can see it so this is the only bit the outside bit that's going to need any actual care and attention um i'm going to give them a bit of a wipe because they've got a couple of little marks on them and stuff but aside from that um i think it's going to be plain sailing i think because this is quite thick it's going to hide a lot of the imperfections anyway so winner winner um that's it i'll uh, i'll try and keep you informed during the process Yes, yeah, so as I thought, it just come undone with them two top ones, unhooked it from the bottom here, and that was that. So because I've never used this stuff before, I'm just going to go and uh, give the inside the first coat, because like I say, you can't really see it. Um, it's really just to sort of black it out and, uh, and have it hidden uh, once it's all, what you call it. So I'm going to give that the, uh, the, first, the first whirl, and then we can see how it behaves and then obviously we can do the outer bit with a little more care if needs be um, so again I don't know if anyone's ever painted stuff before I've literally just used the bubble wrap that it came in to protect everywhere and I'm just doing it on a box in a fairly ventilated area um, I'm assuming anybody the, the six people that's going to watch this video will have uh, painted something before and so I'm probably teaching out suck eggs here but just on the off chance that no one has, you just need a lot of ventilation. You probably should wear a mask and everything, but I'm not going to bother. Um, and that's pretty much it. So on with the first call. So that's going to be it, I'm going to literally leave it at that and then I'll let it dry, I'll turn it round, I'll do the inside of this because under there I've not quite got and then it's just going to be evaluate it and take it from there really. Um, obviously I'll save you the waiting time, that's the benefit of a video isn't it? Um, I'll bring you back when it's done. So as you can see I decided to chuck a layer on the, uh, the outside as well. Um, it's gone on pretty good, it's gone on matte how I wanted it, it's just a little bit streaky, a couple of little like runs because it's the base layer, but other than that it's actually pretty good, it's exactly the uh, the finish I was after, so the, uh, the inside I think is pretty much done, I'll give it one last whip 
but the uh, we're concentrating on the uh, on the outside one to be honest with you um, after that so yeah pretty happy with that I'll uh, I'll bring you back once this one's done right so as you can see that's the last uh, well you can't really see but I'm going to tell you that's the last um, coat fingers crossed that I've just put on uh, nice and wet it has been drying nice in between the uh, the layers um, so there was just a couple of little runs I've just rubbed them down and, uh, and, and repainted it give it one last blast and then I'm pretty happy with it so um, they're not going to go on tonight uh, it'll be tomorrow or at least as far as you're concerned it'll be tomorrow by the time I get it on um, so yeah I'm going to leave it there we'll come back when it comes to actually fit into the car so see you soon right so we're back and it's definitely only tomorrow so got these painted up and they pretty much come out exactly as I don't um, yeah they look pretty good um, so I'm happy with them so I'm gonna chuck them on the car I mean what else are you supposed to do so that's the plan for today I'll uh, I'll see you back outside when um, I've got all the bits together right so I'm not really sure how to go about filming this to be perfectly honest but essentially we'll just pull this off and there we go that's that off and then the next stage is to get this off which I believe is that just slides off making good progress so my next thing is to get these clips out so they're a bit of a faff it's a two-handed job really there's one out i think i'll just bring you back when i get the others out because it's not all that interesting so that's that that was literally two minutes one two three four got them out so the next stage now is to put some nuts and bolts in through here which captures the uh the new version of this because it has to be bolted in uh, but it's a bit of a funny process so i'm gonna do a quick uh, run through and then i'll bring you back right so i got the uh i got the nuts and bolts in but i didn't like them uh they stuck out of it so i've just reverted back to the original plastic clips um, this one's not clipping in brilliant but the rest are in solid so i'm pretty happy with it so now we're just gonna literally stick the uh the new vent on and we're basically done and there we go that my pedigree chums is that that has took all together no more than five minutes to uh get on um so yeah not bad at all really all i've got to do is the other side but i think if we zoom out it's a lot cleaner looking isn't it, it looks a lot better than uh than these things these 80s style what do you call it so pretty happy with it uh, given the speed that it all came off I might actually go back in and give them vents a bit of a blast in this same matte black but once I give the car a wash everything should look pretty good so all I've got to do is go and repeat it on the other side and we're done but I'll save you the uh, the mither and uh, yeah we'll call that video done Right, thanks for watching everyone, and as I say, if you really wouldn't mind uh, liking, subscribing, all that other usual bollocks, uh, it would be much appreciated. We want to try and get to a thousand subscribers in 2024 so that we can monetize the videos and obviously if we're getting free money off YouTube, we can spend more money on cars, get some of them bikes up and running and what have you, and uh, yeah. Anything you can do, like, share, subscribe. I know the videos are a bit shit, but it's because I've got no money to buy new cameras and this that, and the other. So, if you could like and subscribe, very much appreciated. Thank you very much, and we'll see you next year. I hope everyone had a good Christmas, by the way, and uh, and a good New Year. No drinking and driving, all right? Susan, a bit.